once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the big brother had to kill her so they could escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... I promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Brothers. Always.
So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No, I just, just think about what happened. Don't think too much. It was her or us, Inano. No choice. Maybe we could have changed her mind. Do you feel bad about it? No. I thought I would, but fuck that. Right. Sean, are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Inano. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf. The Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied a mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay then, so what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico. But the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Activate flashlight. On the way. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right.
Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars, or any. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for taking a piss when the only one fell. Ugh. You could have warned me quicker. At least we got to see Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah. These guys are real cool. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please.
Victorians, but it doesn't help. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <laughs> kind of like me and Lila. Do you Back in the day. It? Like in your hand? Yeah. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. It's nothing special compared to what he has. Well, what he has is some next level sci fi shit, Sean. You can't compare yourself to him. None of us can. But what you have is a precious gift that will guide you through this cosmogonic mess. If you let it. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money. And as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick... I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Now, let's throw on that spider. See, Sean. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Chuck it up! Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Yo, can you turn that... That, uh, spider thingy around? Watch this. I feel like we're almost done. <laughs> well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. 
That's what makes her talented. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. That sounds cool, but we gotta be leaving soon. We still have a ways to go. Technically, you're already in a way. I get it, you still have to find your home. We were lucky. And old enough to find ours here. So... Don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own away. You will. People come here to reset their life, become the person they want to be, or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. What the fuck? You are a stalker. Knock it off. What? Just because I know the stains doesn't mean I'm a stalker. <laughs> super wolf to big brother. Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Oh, I'm too beat, and I know. Whatever. Boring. <laughs> 
looking at this place, I see that Karen really... Whoa! I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm. Yes! 100% her! Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Don't want to get run over by Karen. I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. No matter what happened before. Hey, Karen did morning. hook us up here. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. Hey, back what's here. up? How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. <laughs> hey, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? <sighs> it was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Um... Does that kind of scare you? Me? God damn right it does. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try and be a good influence, but our bond is complicated. We're brothers. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh. You didn't tell me you were married. I uh, used to be. She died a few years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's life. <sighs> but at least I got an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> we were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, you can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my god, I'm gonna melt! That was awesome, Mom! Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. 
<laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Looks like they all finally found their home. Hope my crops will make it. Is that a new statue? That woman is amazing. This is such a weird fucking place. But that's what's cool about it. Admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. <laughs> That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> 
Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys. Check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. You're a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. No hunter can catch Super Wolf. Not even you. <laughs> you must hike all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough lately, but it'll be better when you're settled. <clears throat> By the way, um, if you wanted to, you could come with us. Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This couldn't last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh! 
I love those things. Whoa, awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe a five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm going to give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom, they'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, 
This is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but still, here it goes. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. Please don't give up on your freedom, okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love, Sean. Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. I'm on it. I'll join you when I'm done. Okay. How does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. That's all I'm saying, folks. But... Uh, uh, 136, <laughs> listening. We've got reports of a... Wait. Is this it? Uh, Sam's? <sighs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. That must have been the best meal ever to frame it on the wall. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road 
and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. Don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane, now, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. So, why did you come here in the end? I had to. Arcadia Bay would have been my grave. I met Steve. He owns the house behind Stanley and Arthur's. He'd lost relatives in the storm, too. So I was in a really bad shape. We became friends. And he told me about this place. How I could start fresh here. He was right. I know that moving on is a, a tough process. No matter the situation. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you. Okay? Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So... I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Yeah, but it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look. We can hide you from the cops. 
Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Okay, okay, that's good. Hey, what's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? <laughs> well, looks a bit off, or something. Hmm. I agree. Something's not right. I'll figure it out. Or give it up. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> Your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. miss you so much, Joanne. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, and I know. Come here. Mom... I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both. And what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me... I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son.
Let's hit the road. Something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Forever. We can live like kings, dude. The dollar goes a long way there. We don't need much. Yeah, right. So who am I gonna play with? What do I do for fun? Come on. You can make friends when you go back to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or... Do anything if I can't talk. I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared too, you know, but we'll be, we'll be fine. Okay. I trust you.
That looks so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. Hey, Sean, why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. To brawl? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. <laughs> we did it! Oh. Oh. We fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. We've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh man, oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. Oh, that would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some choco crisp. It'll be so Daniel. Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Oh. 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 No. No way, not now! Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, ah! Oh. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. 
These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans. Americans, damn it! Now it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Do we look like terrorists? We're just kids. Not after you blow a wall up. So tell me the plan. You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. No, Still bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Yeah, don't move. Ugh. What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! Fuck's sake! What I say? Uh-oh. Okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? <sighs> Daniel! What? Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Don't look at me. Estás bien? Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Thanks. I'll remember that. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. <sighs> no way I can break through back. that door without uh, Daniel's help. This place is fucking gross. Saben cuánto tiempo 
¿Nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad... Queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No pudimos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos podido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Pero... ¿No es elegir la solución más fácil? ¿Escaparse de sus problemas en vez de quedarse y afrontarlos? ¿No es lo que están haciendo ustedes? Tú, más que nadie, tienes que saber que no hay nada fácil en cruzar desiertos y fronteras para sobrevivir. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Tuve suerte que mi padre trabajaba duro, que fuimos bien integrados. Lo comprendí cuando murió, cuando me quedé solo. Lo siento mucho, hijo. Cuando eres extranjero, <ríe> tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Immigrants built this country. Where did the... Founding fathers come from, huh? No, 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 that was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes, an honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah, yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders, we have a right to protect our sovereign nation, and we will. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See, you love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. What? Maddie. What you say? Oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. You win. I would like to get out of here soon. El odio no va a ganar. Dile esto, Carla. Ya, basta. No vale más. Fuck you, you wetback. You what, and your what girlfriend. What the fuck? Yo! Madison! Everybody 
calm down. <sighs> Campbell, tell me we're out of here. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. And no more fighting down here. Or I'm gonna get mean. Okay? Let's move it. All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope he's all right. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Haven't seen Daniel since- Of course not. Why do you care? Because I... How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Well, good job then. You went to jail instead. Shut up! What? You don't get to talk to me like that, Mama Cita. <sighs> so tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. No. Coffee's gonna make me feel Shit. so much better. At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Vandalizing a motel room. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then... You join a religious commune in Nevada, and its leader is found dead short after. Hmm. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But 
Denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! Uh, what is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I'm okay, just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Come on, bullshit. we gotta go. Get us out of here! Estoy aquí. Sean. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? We'll help Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And God, he's up for the count. Criminals get out, huh? Maddie, don't. Okay, hands oh, up! Shit! Don't Wait, don't shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I got the luck, dude. We got multiple officers, What down. the fuck? Shoot them now! They're dangerous! Be, be careful! We will it's shoot you. if we need to. Understand? Fuck! Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! Don't do anything stupid, I'm kid! Scared. Throw that locker. I... I didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. You saved us. You had no choice. Now... Let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. Hey! Hey! hey what Step did you do? Back. You fucking murderer! Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Look at that. Crime Central. Come on, Sean! We gotta go! We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate... Take it out, Daniel. Time to go. Hurry, 
Sean! Drive! <sighs> no, nobody is chasing us. Not yet. Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, what are we going to do? Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say! You know that day? In Seattle? The day Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't. Waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Please. Don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end?
they make it to the other side. Huh? What? You sure? Trust me, okay? Just get us through. Hold on tight. <laughs> Happy in Mexico.